welcome to the big Earth Day fun collab. I'm really excited about this one. First of all, a lot of amazing people um, in this fun collab situation. However, I've been wanting to do what I'm gonna do today for a really long time, and I haven't had an excuse, but this is the perfect excuse, because a few years ago, I did one of my favorite things, um, I don't even think it's on YouTube, to be honest. It was a big three foot round with black base and I did a bloom and I didn't really love the bloom. So you know what I did? I got these um, like wall decals and here, I'll just, I decaled it right on. And then I believe I resined first, then they did the decal, then resined again. I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, and it, this really became the focal point and it was really pretty. So that's what I'm doing today on this. This is a three foot, I don't think it's two by three. I'm not sure what it is, it's big. And I'm really excited because I haven't had the space to go big in so long, um, but I made the space to do it. So that's what we're doing. Oh, my hair is a mess. Um, so. The wonderful thing about this is you can make so many mistakes and it doesn't matter as long as the background is really subdued because you want the flower to be the focal point. So I will be using for my base paint, Sherwin-Williams color to go. This is a white one, no. I'll be using Tricorn Black, which this isn't black either, by the way, but you can't even see, okay. Not an example, moment. Ha ha, tricorn black. Purple label, tricorn black. And to be honest, I haven't even decided the colors, but I'm gonna stay away from gold. I was thinking a mix of like, cause I don't want anything too bright. Like I said, I want like pops of color, but I really want the outline of the flower to be uh, the focus of it. So what about some like deep blues with some blue interference and some deep pinks? with some pink interference, some deep purples with purple interference. Hmm, that can be fun. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Now also, um, I might, cause I don't wanna make such a big mess. Um, I might just tilt. Not only that, I might, no, I'll blow it out. I was gonna say, I don't even have to bloom. Like I can just do like a faux Dutch pour. Uh, with my bloom ingredients if I make them thinner, but I might just bloom anyways. But my challenge for me is to not put too much colored paint on because I always do, I'm always, no matter what, I always kind of go overboard and because I don't actually want full coverage. I want like little pieces here and there to be the background. So that for me will be the challenge. So let's see if I'm up to the challenge. Uh, I'm gonna make some colors and I'll be right back, bye. Okay, I want to show you what I've decided on so far. These are all TLP pigments. This is Crescendo, this is Unicorn, this is Shimmer, this is Velvet. Is that Shimmer? I just wanna make sure. Glisten, sorry, it's Glisten. And the reason I like Glisten is this goes, sorry, I know sneakers is annoying. Uh, it goes from like an aqua to a green. Velvet is a blue interference, but it's more purpley. This goes to like a really deep pinky purple. I just, I'll show you on the black. So look, just so you can see. So you can see the top is Glisten, then uh, Velvet, then Unicorn, then Crescendo. But here, let's look at the shift. So you can see, oh. Look, ah, gorge, right? So I think I'm gonna leave it like this and maybe just do white on top with a dark cell activator. <clears throat> I don't know, but this is where we are right now. Isn't this gorge? Okay, I've decided on my tubies. We are going golden phthalo, no, cobalt, turquoise, okay. I have some magenta. I have phthalo, that's the phthalo turquoise. <laughs> That's cobalt, the other guys. And then this is a permanent violet dark. And then I've mixed up some white. This is zinc white, which is not opaque. So let's see how it all turns out. Okay, I'm ready to go. You're gonna hear a lot of grunting because I'm set up on the floor today. I just haven't made space on a big table. So, um, one and a bit of these should be fine, but let's see. 
too much I should go slower sorry um, okay I'm gonna just pour slow one sec it's hard to catch oh, those bloops as they come out that's one thing that this can has a lot of so I've decided I'm just gonna use my hair dryer because it doesn't really matter what the blooms look like if you remember because they're just gonna be the background. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna use more. Oops. Okay, so let's say two. <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a while, huh? Okay. And remember, I'm gonna try to go minimal and remember kind of the shape of the flower. Oh, no. Hold on, I have to mix this one. T O. All right, on the back, sometimes it ooh, separate a bit. Now, also the problem with my setup right now is that I'm just on my cake spinner. Now, normally what I should have done, and normally what I do do is I put something underneath it um, to hold it up, but I don't know if I'm gonna spin it. I probably should put it more in the middle anyways. Should be good. Okay, now let's remove these over here and I'll stretch it out a little this way, this way. spreading it out and making sure it's all mixed nicely. And so when I spin it, it can just flow off. Just like that. We are ready. I'm just gonna change my gloves so I don't drip black everywhere. Okay, so let us begin our layering. I'm gonna start with the purples to pinks to blues and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start with the colors and then I'm going to lay the piggies and then I'm going to lay a bit of white on top. And we're going to go a little diagonal, you know, like purple. I saw a bloop in there. You don't want no bloops. Get those bloops away. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to go with the magenta. No, I didn't get the bloop. Hold on, everybody. This process takes a lot longer when it's bigger. Okay. There's just a little bloop of paint. And I don't want anything in the way when I spin. Okay. So, probably I already put too much paint because remember, I don't want that much. Uh, but, you know. Okay. Magenta, 
then we'll do thalo turquoise. Okay. And then teal. Cobalt green, or is it? Yeah, not teal. Okay, next we'll do the piggies. So I have unicorn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now the piggies are what's going to give it such cool depth. Okay, crescendo. I'm just following the colors. <clears throat> Velvet. And then, uh, whatever this one is that I said. <laughs> All right, and I'm just gonna top it off with a bit of white. And then, I'll probably blow it in two sections. We'll see. I don't even need that much cell activator. I'm not my goal isn't to get cells it's just to break up the colors a little bit so I'm going to drizzle my white the colors already look really pretty okay drizzle yeah drizzle a little bit more not too thick okay just for a bit of contrast, you know? Are you ready? Okay. Cell activator. Let me make sure my... Oh, I love these colors. Okay. This over here. Let me make sure my dryer turns on. Most importantly, it does. Let's move it out of the way right here. Okay, so I'm just going to do half and half. I was just blowing out the edges extra to make it like flowy. Cute. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. this chunk here actually because it will uh, it's a pretty color anyways so I'm pretty pleased with it so far oh yeah for a minute um let me do a close-up for you perhaps I can ready I don't know what it looks like on the camera but I'm trying maybe you can see the light shift Okay, I hope that was helpful. Now, let's 
spin it out. Okay. It's gonna be a little wonky because it's not even and I don't really care, so that's fine. I just wanna make sure all the paint goes off because there's a lot of it actually. So we're gonna keep spinning. There we go. Help it out a bit. We'll go a little faster. I think it's kind of cool anyways, right? Okay, see how she's doing. Good. Good. I hope that it doesn't compete with the bold outline. I hope it's not too jazzy. But I guess we'll see when it dries. Like the colors should mute a bit over the black. Okay. Still going. Still going. So I kept spinning uh, until all the paint came off and I wanted to show you the wet version versus versus the dry version. So right now it looks really good and I see that, you know, the thicker parts of this hot activator, I know that's gonna sink and get wonky and that's okay. So I let it dry for about uh, four days to make sure it was totally dry. And then I took my little sticker and started to do my thing. This was quite big, so it was difficult to like wrangle, and I used many different tools to flatten it and to really make sure it was sticking. This part was the most time consuming. It's because all the little pieces kind of didn't want to stick, and I really was doing, and I should have almost just hand painted the whole thing, but it was a good experience, anyways. But especially for a big piece, it gets. Um, kind of annoying, but I guess you guys, you know, if you do your crickets and things like that, it's the same thing. Um, so yeah, I'm just pulling off that sticky paper and, um, doing it really carefully and gingerly. And you know, you know how I love to be so, um, careful about everything. So there are some pieces that kind of ripped off or also because that sticker was probably like a couple years old. So it wasn't the easiest to work with. So I just took my marker and fixed it. And you can't even really tell, to be honest. Luckily that marker um, was the same kind of like antique gold color. So here she is before the resin um, looking good. The colors did dry pretty vibrant. Um, but I don't think that they overtake the gold too much. So I think that's good. I mean, you guys will let me know. So now it is time for resin. I mixed a big batch because I was doing other stuff too. And I um, poured on, I use a resin that's discontinued now, unfortunately. So I need to find a new resin in Canada. Um, I like to use my hand to spread personally. I just find it easier for me so I can see what areas might need more resin. There are so many different types of tools that you can use to help spread it. I'm just a very tactile person that way. So I use my hands, I double up my gloves, and um, obviously always wear your PPE. I had a, my torch was a little nuts, oopsie. So I had to fix that, but I just wanted to show you quickly. Uh, pop all the bubbles, cover up with Bob. Okay, here she is. Let's zoom in. Um, I really like the flowy aspect of the bottom in the light. It just looks so cool. Um, we're going to zoom up here. There we go. Yeah, I really like like the blues, the greens, the pinks. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with her. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can see like, you know, the bottom is like a little wonky, whatever, but you can't even tell. So there's always a way to fix, you know, things that you might think are not as attractive and make them attractive.
Uh, happy Earth Day. Please, um, I put all the participants in the description. So head over to their pages, see what they did. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye.